Welcome back to 5-Minute Adventures. I'm Derek, and today's adventure is about a true Canadian hero, Terry Fox. Terry was born on July 28, 1958, in Winnipeg, Manitoba, to his parents, Betty and Raleigh Fox. In 1966, the Fox family moved from Winnipeg to Surrey, British Columbia, and again moved across the Fraser River to Port Coquitlam, British Columbia. At a young age, Terry discovered a love of basketball. He made it onto the basketball team of his high school, the Mary Hill Junior High School, which is now named after him. He attended this school and played on their basketball team from grades 8 through 12, winning the school's Athlete of the Year in grade 12, along with his best friend, Doug Alward. Terry attended Simon Fraser University, studying kinesiology in the hopes of becoming a physical education teacher. Terry was diagnosed with osteosarcoma in March of 1977. This cancer would cost him his right leg, but would not take his drive and determination from him. In the summer of 1977, Terry was invited by Rick Hansen to begin playing wheelchair basketball. He won three national titles and was named an All-Star by the North American Wheelchair Basketball Association in 1980. Terry's Marathon of Hope began on April the 12th of 1980 when he dipped his prosthetic leg in the Atlantic Ocean near St. John's, Newfoundland and began the mammoth task of crossing Canada by foot, determined to finish his journey in Victoria, British Columbia, some 8,000 kilometers away. On September the 1st of 1980, after running 143 days, 5,373 kilometers, or 3,339 miles, Terry was forced to stop his marathon when his cancer returned and spread to his lungs. Terry's initial goal was to raise $1 million, which he then increased to $24 million, or $1 for every person in Canada at the time. To date, the Terry Fox Foundation has raised over $800 million for cancer research. Terry received several awards including the Order of Canada, which is the highest civilian honour in Canada, the Order of the Dogwood, the highest provincial award in British Columbia. He received the Lou Marsh Award for the nation's top athlete, as well as Newsmaker of the Year in 1980. The Canadian Sports Hall of Fame commissioned a permanent exhibit on display at the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame in Vancouver, British Columbia. The Terry Fox Plaza, located here as well, has four bronze statues as well as a jumbo screen with information about his Marathon of Hope. Sadly, Terry lost his battle with cancer on June 28, 1981, just one month shy of his 23rd birthday. Terry is laid to rest in the Port Coquitlam Municipal Cemetery in Port Coquitlam, B.C., he is flanked on either side by his parents, Mother Betty, passing on June 17, 2011, Father Raleigh, passing on March 8, 2016. Terry is survived by his siblings Daryl, Fred, and Judith. To donate to the Terry Fox Foundation, visit their website at terryfox.org. Let's take a moment of silence to honor the man, Terry Fox, and his parents who inspired him and his marathon of hope. Thank you for spending five minutes with me today, and I'll see you in the next one.